Ample Note Tutorial for Beginners How to Use Ample Note Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about this platform called Ample Note and we will give you a beginner's guide so that you wouldn't be feeling too lost or too confused when you use Ample Note as a beginner. So if you would like to know more information about Ample Note, you can visit their website over here and read through the different blogs and different information posted over here. Now, as you know, also there is four main feature in Ample Note. You have your jots, notes, task, and calendar. These are the features that are available in Ample Note and are comparable to other platforms out there. As you can see here on jots, you can see the type of application or type of software it is comparable to. Same thing with notes task and calendar over here now for jots you could log daily activity for now notes you could connect and refine ideas for tasks you could pick up to do items and for calendar you could drop and drag task into a schedule so to be able to get started with ample note you're simply going to go over here back at top and simply enter your email over here and you could easily register in ample note now, after creating your account, you will be redirected to their homepage over here or like their dashboard. And this is where you can now start using Ample Note. As you can see here on the left side, we have our four main feature. You have your jots, you have your notes, you have your task, and your calendar over here. You can see here. And to be able to get started, you're simply going to select a specific section that you would like to get started on. As you can see also, there is already some information added here like as you can see daily dots over here. And you can remove this if you would like. You could delete all of this information if you would like, like control A everything, then you delete this. But you could create your own new jots by simply clicking on jots and new note over here on the top right. You can also do the same thing for notes over here. There's already five notes available for you, like information about Ample notes, updates tips and tricks it is available over here if you would like to know more about it and your task over here there is also some task already available over here that would like give you a guide on how to use ample note like reach a reach footnote stuff like that it will give you like a to-do list so that you could improve your interaction with ample note and you could see the different things that you could do with this same thing with calendar you will be able to put your different task into this section as you can see you can use the drag system and put it on whatever time you would like to have it on and you can simply delete it just like that and going back here you can see your shortcuts over here this is jd jots right now you could click on these three dots and you can see the information over here like suggestions and all of those stuff you have your references over here you could fix you have your to do that you can see here also you could highlight this, remove shortcut or add shortcut over here. You could do the same thing with daily jots. I don't think you can remove the daily jots one. So let's leave it be for now. And let's see. To be able to create a new jots, you're simply going to go to the jots over here. As you can see here also, there's an infographic or like an image on how it works. Jots is to capture and write. Notes is to organize and revise. Task is to plan and prioritize. And calendar is to schedule and complete. So let's start with Jots. In Jots, you can simply click on Create New Note. And this will allow you to create a new note in the Note section. I think for the Jots, you're simply going to have to stick in this section. And as you can see here, you can simply create right, anything right away over here. The SOP, type it in and your title over here as well. And you will be able to create like a new Jots. Jots is very easy to do. You can simply scroll down, look through or find a space that you could work with and you can see information over here for the new notes this is specifically for the notes um we spoke earlier this is only for the notes section and as you know it will also appear here based on your jots you can see and whatever you type in jots will also be taken note in the note section because it will say whatever you type in your Apple note you could also click on your note over here on the top right and then you could create your note over here for example testing and guide for ample note there we go and then you could edit your different paragraph formatting over here 
You can also add an image if you would like. Then you can type whatever information that you want over here. You can also see hidden and backlinks over here below. And you could click on the three dots. You could add collaborators on who can work on your Apple Note notes over here. You could also delete this. You could also apply some sort of encryption. And you see more information over here like download note, duplicate note, lock note, archive note, prevent auto archiving, copy, mail to note address, and add to shortcuts over here. And after this, when you exit this, it will automatically be saved as you can see here. Whatever you do with this will be saved. And you can also add a tag over here so that you could categorize your different notes. For example, this note is for uh, tutorials. Tutorials. And now you could create multiple notes and have it as the same tag so that you could categorize them as notes. There's also for the task over here. As you can see, these are different tasks that you have or we have right now. You could see or see how it is grouped over here. You can see the task source and all of those stuff. You could add task by easily going back here on new note and typing in or clicking this task over here then simply typing in whatever task that you have and then you know do enter and enter and then you could add more tasks over here by simply clicking this option over here which would automatically convert it into a task once you save it over here as you can see then you could hide it you could start out you could priority and all of those stuff and then you can see your task core over here and your repeat start at hide until priority duration you could dismiss task you could cross out task or you delete the task over here you will be able to view them in this section as well or you could also create it right here right away you can simply type it over here and it will appear over here as well and if you don't want to see all of this other stuff you can simply delete task over here and delete all of them or you can simply check them out by clicking on the box over here which would automatically remove all of this to-do list on your task so that you can clean up and focus on your own created task over here as you can see and for the calendar over here to be able to use the calendar you can simply check out over here you could have day view week view month view or even like a month view over here i think this one is for a week view pero pero a week view but for with time over here you can see and for example, I would like to set a deadline for one of my tasks for Friday. And then I can simply drag this in. You can see like this drag section over here. And you could assign it to what time? For example, 10 a.m. Then uh, we could put it there. Then we could assign this. There. There. And now you will have like a deadline. And you can see how many tasks are being on your specific day. This is for work. You could also create one for your personal over here. You could add notes and add tags for your personal task. And there's also notes. And there's also subscriptions in Ample Note over here. As you can see, there's personal, pro, unlimited, and founder options over here. For the pro version, you would need to pay $5.84 per month. For unlimited, $10 per month. For founder, $20 per month. And each plan over here has its own feature that you could have that is unique to each plan as you can see here and that's it guys that is how you could use ample note for beginners hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching